Hello there and welcome to this virtual tour of the Deerham Nethered School Allotment Project, also known as the School Nutrition Action Group or SNAG as it's more commonly known within the school. My name is Matt Willer and I am the charity founder of the Papillon Project whose privilege it is to work alongside secondary schools and sixth form colleges across Norfolk, helping them to create and develop school allotments in an effort to try and inspire young people to think about where their food comes from, to help them grow their food for their school and ultimately to help inspire them to lead more sustainable lives into the future. It's going to be my pleasure to show you on this virtual tour and what a transformation it has been and it's been a transformation mainly because of the inspirational teacher that is Mr Anderson who is a science teacher at this school and he has really been the root of all things that have happened on, on this area of the school grounds and it's a fantastic transformation that has taken place. So we start the virtual tour walking past the former polytunnel. It's a bit of a sad story that this polytunnel was vandalised quite a few times in the past. So the decision was taken to upcycle it into something a bit different and that is to convert it into a fruit cage. And we've done that using bits of old netting, uh, old goal posts to run along the side and it, as you will see, is serving a very good job as being this allotment's fruit cage. We've got raspberries growing there and black currants to the left. Lots of straw mulch, very important to help keep the moisture in the soil and the weeds at bay. Tractor tires there as planters, rhubarb below. You'll notice a plastic lining running below the tractor tires just as a precaution in case anything unpleasant seeps out from the tractor tires. On top of the green container there, we have some uh, method of collecting rainwater using a rainwater catcher into those IBC tanks. These fantastic uh, raised beds here uh, with onions on the right and potatoes on the left. And on your screens now, there will be a photograph of what this project used to look like. And you can see with the polytunnel behind that there has been an amazing, an amazing transformation at this school allotment project. Uh, broad beans directly ahead, some classic raised beds made from wooden pallets which the children helped to build alongside the Papillon Project volunteers. Runner beans at the very beginning of the growing stages there. Strawberries clearly enjoying some fantastic time in the sun. And as you can see, a fantastic transformation. That's a dead hedge, uh, which we've created as a little habitat uh, to divide the allotment and the orchard area in two. And of course, this is the allotment's orchard area. Now, all of these young fruit trees have what's called a tree guild below them. And this is a, a way of showing children, young people, the importance of companion gardening. And this means that below these fruit trees, there are nitrogen fixing plants such as borage and comfrey which help to put goodness into the soil and support the growth of these young fruit trees so that's very important. This bay here was created to respect the site team here at the school whose job it is alongside many things to collect some of the leaves in the autumn so it's very important to have an area where they can freely dump uh, leaves which of course will be turned into compost and leaf mould uh, at the school allotment project. Here we have the composting area of this school allotment and it's incredibly important to help organise things. Okay, things are a bit wibbly wobbly here, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just making sure that there is a very clear defined area where composting can take place. And as you can see here, these three tiers are there to show the importance of turning compost in order to help uh, the, the, the goodness and the leaves and all the green waste break down into compost. Here we have a pallet wall which the charity helped to put up for the school and this is there to, I guess, to define the area but also as a windbreak. Very, very important to help create a little shelter uh, from the wind of any school allotment project. Lovely open space there which we passed at the beginning of the tour. Very important to have open spaces for children to sit and have their lunch. We hope you enjoyed this virtual tour. This is a really inspirational school allotment and thank you very much for listening and indeed watching.